What's up everybody? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do some b-roll stuff and shoot... I guess the mirrors, I don't know. I'm going to be doing some stuff on my E46 today. Uh, I got new mirrors. Um, they're Ganador style mirrors because you know I'm trying to build like a JDM themed E46. Uh, so I'm going to do some painting. I'm going to do a little bit of slow-mo stuff. My buddy asked about like some help with some b-roll stuff so I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of breakdown on that. Um, I am learning cinematography as I go along. I'm trying to get better like everybody else. Photography is my primary expertise. So as I learn stuff, I do want to share with you guys as well. Um, in terms of that, I wanted to try and offer some help. Like so, in terms of like sh uh, frames per second and shutter speed and correlation, where like suppose you're shooting at 30 frames per second, I've always been told to shoot at double that in terms of shutter speed. So if it's at 30 frames per second, you want to shoot at 1 60th a second. Or if you're shooting 60 frames per second, it's good to set it at 1 1 25th. I believe that's what it is. Um, so that way, like the frames are clean. It's like not going crazy, your camera's not giving all these crazy lines in the background, none of that stuff. Um, and I've always been told at like 24 frames per second it's the most natural, it's got like the most kind of normal motion blur. But today I'm going to shoot at 60 frames because I want to slow it down to 30 frames to make it a little more cinematic. Um, we are going to be shooting with a f2.8 lens, it's a 70-200L to lens. Um, and basically the reason I'm shooting wide open is to get the separation between the, the background and the, the object that we're we're filming and that way as it moves it kind of creates that like separation of movement just give a good dynamic feel to it I'm also color grading everything in in light uh, not Lightroom um, I'm color grading in Final Cut Pro uh, I do have a LUT maker that I use Lightroom to make LUTs with sometimes but I also just can color grade off the wheels and stuff I will be doing a color grading video soon uh, with all like the reasons behind colors which color palettes work how to do stuff and the way I kind of go about it uh, from an artistic perspective so anyways, I'm going to get to this, I'm going to sand it all down, kind of get things going. The B-roll will be in 60 frames. Uh, the first part of this is just going to be me working on it, sanding it down, cleaning it up. And then we're going to try and set some stuff up and I'll kind of explain it as I go. Okay, so now that the sun's kind of set, uh, you can kind of see it went down in the background. Um, we're going to try and do a little bit of like flary artificial lighting uh, with the same Home Depot $8 light that I used before and just see what happens. I'm just going to try and shoot through it. Uh, same low depth of field, same kind of, same ordeal, same everything. Hopefully it just looks cool, hopefully we can slow it down, hopefully we can make it fancy. So let's try. Okay, so let me guy, let me quickly give you guys a run through of how we have this all set up and uh, just kind of break it all down. Um, here's the Sony camera right here, and then this is the Atomus. Uh, I have all the Sony settings right here, just so I have uh, all of it on screen because it doesn't show up on the Atomus. One one twenty fifth of a second, f two eight uh, on the Atomus screen. It's just basically showing how it looks. So that way you can see that there's a flare right in here, and then there's a little bit of a flare over here, giving it a little bit of separation. Car in the background, kind of make it a little interesting. Uh, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, let me break it down a little bit more when I walk in the house. But I just wanted you guys to kind of see how the setup looks here. So, see you in a second. Okay, so I'm back in the house. And uh, let me just, I kind of went through all the footage. I pieced it all together. Hopefully you enjoy some of this stuff. Um, basically what I was trying to do is I was trying to practice taking the b-roll shots and taking like the light flares and getting everything in seeing the light come into the lens from like almost like a backlit perspective that way you kind of see me as a little bit dark and what I'm painting uh, but I was trying to get like a, a really crisp nice effect to it and just kind of practice that but as far as b-roll goes um, essentially all it is is that you just need to use that as parts to tell a full story um, essentially what I was going for in this video which really didn't even happen anyways in the end uh, was me modifying the E46 and changing the mirrors and painting it and doing all that stuff. Uh, it's actually the next day, and I've shot all the other stuff yesterday, and when I went back to paint the rest of it today, I actually messed up a little bit of the bottom, so I have to go back and sand it and paint it, clean it all up again, so there's no kind of end to that story. But the B-roll was meant to fit into the storytelling of me doing the, the E46 mirrors. Um, more so this video is just me testing stuff and learning as I go and explaining it to you, and trying to help teach what I'm doing too. So hopefully it helps. Um, hopefully the frames per second thing made sense. 
So like if you shoot at 30 frames per second, you set your shutter speed at one, one, one slash 60. Um, or if you're shooting 60 frames per second, you set it at one slash one, two, five. Cause I don't think there's a one twentieth of a, or one, one twentieth of a second. Um, I don't know. I just, uh, my camera is set that way and that's the way it works here. It's just basically doubling the numbers. And so you don't have anything weird or anything crazy going on. Then you just set the ISO accordingly, obviously. Um, very high ISO will create noise. Very low ISO is always better for crispness, but it might end up dark. And shooting at the lowest possible aperture, or the fastest aperture is what we call it, um, which is the lowest number, uh, that will give you the most depth of field or separation, hopefully. Like So not everything's in focus, just your object that you set in focus. And it'll give a good clean split between the two things. That's not necessary for all B-roll. Don't, don't quote me on any of that. Uh, what I'm trying to say is basically like B-roll is just to tell the story, but what I was trying to do in the clips before was to create separation. Um, hopefully that all makes sense and I didn't get confusing or anything like that. Um, and hopefully this, this video makes sense. Hopefully you can learn a little bit more and uh, progress on, you know, tag me in some stuff that you guys do. If you're on Instagram and you follow me uh, or Twitter, I'm on both all the time. Um, both accounts, the Sorcery and the V2Lab accounts. Um, all the links are in the description below if you care about that stuff. Otherwise, just leave comments here. I mean, I'll always check out videos and stuff that you have on your channel, stuff like that. I'm always down to learn. I'm always down to watch stuff. I'm always trying to get better. I'm always trying to see people get better. So it's always cool to progress with everyone. And uh, I guess that's really it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.